Uh, hi there, hey there, hello there guys. It is Kimber aka Wildendrica stopping in and checking on you today with my part two to my 10 things I wish I knew before I started keto. The first one was do not compare your keto journey to anyone else's because it will definitely be different. The second one is, is not everyone is as excited about your weight loss as you are. That was something that I wish I had known. I just thought automatically that everyone was going to be so ecstatic for me because I was losing weight. Um, and they were until they found out how you're doing it and then they completely lose their minds. Oh, well, you can't go without carbs. Your body needs carbs in order to survive. You have to have carbs. And you try to tell someone or explain to them how keto works and they just can't wrap their mind around it. Uh, you know, they're okay with you eating a full hamburger with a bun and french fries and a drink. Um, but the second you say you want a bunless burger wrapped in lettuce and a side salad and water or a diet drink, they just don't know what to think about it. Uh, you know, they're like, oh, you're going to get sick. There's no way that you can do this and lose weight. Or when you tell them, oh yeah, I eat bacon and eggs every day. Oh, aren't you so worried about your cholesterol and your heart and all that fat can't be good for you and your body, you know, blah, 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 blah. They don't want to hear the science behind it. And, you know, they basically hear a little bit and then they completely shut out. Uh, anything else that you may say? And I wish that that was something that I knew because in the beginning, I wanted to share this journey with everyone. Like everyone I came in contact with, I was like, oh yeah, have you ever tried the keto diet? Have you ever tried this? Have you ever tried that? And people was like, oh, what is that? And then you go to tell them, they're like, oh, I tried that Atkins stuff and it just don't work. And keto is not Atkins, but people don't hear that. And that's one of the reasons that I created my YouTube channel and started posting up videos is because I needed to find a great support system of people who... We're also on the keto lifestyle and um, I found a great, great community here on YouTube and we've kind of helped each other through a lot of hard times, but you know, not everyone's going to be as ecstatic as you are about your weight loss. Um, I've had people look at to my face, oh, you look so good. I bet you feel great now that you've lost weight, but then they go behind my back and they tell some people, do you know how she's losing all this weight? Let me tell you what she's doing. And then I get people coming up to me and say, honey, listen, I'm very, very concerned about your health. You know, it can't be healthy to eat bacon and butter and all that oil and coconut and avocados are good for you, but you can't eat them every day. Those were some of the things that I was hearing all the time. And I was just like, why is it that no one's excited for me? And I mean, I'm not saying no one was excited for me because I had a great support system and I still do. My family, my husband's family are extremely supportive. They know what I do. They accommodate me, you know, more than anything. But you still get those random people, you know, people from high school or, you know, stuff like that. They just don't understand. They just know that you've lost weight, but they really do think that you're doing it very unhealthily. So my advice number two things that I wish I knew before I started keto, not everybody will be as happy with your weight loss as you are. So with that, I'll go ahead and end this for the day. I will check in with you guys a little bit later. So I will see you later. Take care. Bye.